What's going on, guys? My name is Baron, a developer B, and welcome back to episode 31 of the Bucket Coding Tutorial Series. And in this episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to make custom books. So this is going to be a nice and quick episode just to get it out of the way. And I said, why not? And I'm just going to teach you guys how to do two things today. I'm going to teach you guys how to pretty much handle when a player first joins the server and we're going to give them this book when they first join but then they won't get the book again after they rejoin so it's just going to be a first join thing so if the player is not played on the server then we're going to handle that and I'm going to teach you guys how to do that so pretty much the first thing that we're going to want to do is create a player variable and we're going to set this to eat on get player and we're just in a player join event and I just put it in the same class because I thought that would be nice and easy because it's the only thing we're going to have and we're going to check if the player dot has played before so that's pretty much how we handle whether they have jo joined the server or not before so we're going to reverse that so this is going to say if they haven't played before then we're going to give them this nice book so we're going to create an item stack called book we're going to set it to a new item stack of material.written book. There we go. And that is going to allow us to manipulate this book inside of our code. And this is good for if you want to show some rules to your server or something. And, you know, it you can't really do that without pretty much making a custom book. And if you want to, you can customize the pages in a config. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to use an array list. So... How we're going to do this is we're going to type item meta, meta, and we're going to set that to, or actually, book meta, meta, and we're going to set that to book meta. we got to cast it because it doesn't know if it's a book dot get item meta, like so. That's going to give us our nice book meta, and we're going to have to set a few things inside of this meta. So as you can see, we have add page, uh, set page, get pages, all of this. But first, we are going to set the author. We're going to set the author to yours truly, developer B. And then we are going to go ahead and say set title. We're going to call this chat color dot red. And we're going to say the story of and then chat color dot gold because obviously got to be gold developer B. So this is the story of developer B. And then we are going to create our array list. So we're actually just going to make this a regular list of string lore. We're going to equal that to a new array list. Oops. And there we go. And now we can, I don't know why I called it lore. Well, it is a lore. Because it's, <laughs> I don't know, it's a story. I don't know. Let's just call it lore. But it, it isn't the actual lore of the book. Because the book has an automatic lore where it says the title and stuff. But anyway, we're going to say lore.add let's start creating some cool stuff so we're gonna say chat color dot green let's make it some green text once upon a time in a land in a land far far away there lived a developer named developer B he was and, and now we're gonna add a new page so every time we add to this um, array list we're gonna add a new page so this is going to be on page two actually we say once upon a time in a land far far away there lived a developer named developer B he really liked coding but did not want to teach others and then we're gonna add one more page this is gonna be the end of the story then a magical fairy told him of a place called YouTube and he then wanted to teach others the end <laughs> that's our story so we're gonna have that as our story we're actually going to make a nice um, chat color dot red for the end let's make a new line too just so it is pretty cool and there we go, we have our nice little book there. And now we are going to say meta.setPages. And there is our list right there. And we're just gonna call that lore. And then we can say book.setItemMeta to meta. Make sure you do that. And there we go, we have our nice and long book. We can go down here and say player.setItem. Or actually, we're just gonna add item. Oops, add item. Get inventory.addItem book. 
and there we go we are done so this is only going to give them this book once they join the server but then it is not going to after so let's go ahead and build this and see what happens so let's go to custom book build and then i have not joined the server yet so i'm just sitting on the waiting screen so as you can see i'm sitting on the waiting screen ready to join let's go ahead and reload the server and there we go let's go ahead and join see if we get our magical book so as you can see once we join the server we actually did not get our book all right so the server said that i had played before so pretty much i thought I, I thought i made it so it said i didn't play before but as you can see i did not get the book in game whenever i joined so as you can see this worked so i had played before so it did not give me this book and it just didn't run anything but let's go ahead and put this on the outside let's actually just go ahead and copy this and go ahead and put it on the outside just to show you the book worked but i'm going to put the other code back whenever i put the code in the description so you guys can see how that one works but this is just going to be so you guys can see the actual book so let's go ahead and build this go in game reload oops reload i didn't have any errors but yeah so let's go ahead rejoin the server as you can see once we join we are actually going to get this book in our inventory here it is we actually got the book so this is really cool let's go ahead and open this and see what happens so as you can see we opened the book and as you can see once upon a time in a land far far away there lived a developer named developer b he really liked coding but did not want to teach others then a magical fairy told him of a place called youtube and then he wanted to teach others the end so there is our book and as you can see if we hover over it it says by developer b the story of developer b and original so thank you guys for watching that was a quick little episode on how to handle uh, new players joining your server and creating custom books i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next episode